In three hours, it will be a week. That is what Latish stood for. Nobody wants to work without having a shower. Here we suffer. It would seem. What else can surprise those who spend almost their entire life behind the wheel and are accustomed to all sorts of inconveniences? However, drivers have recently reported that obstacles are increasingly hindering their progress. The closure of checkpoints on the European Union side is forcing them to reorganize their well-established routes. The decisions made by Warsaw, Vilnius and Riga break both the logistical and logical chains as the losses incurred from downtime in queues are borne specifically by European carriers. And drivers endure challenges and farms experience hardships, but they carry on. The loss they face is immense and devastating. I left Latvia, saw the Belarusian land, the Belarusian flag, started breathing better. However, there are no definitive answers to the question of why drivers have been unable to obtain assistance from the control services of neighboring states for an extended period of time. Meanwhile, the queue is growing. And if the Belarusian side is ready to process the maximum possible number of trucks per day, then for some reason the European side chooses the option of slowly testing the nerves of long-haul drivers for strength. People express dissatisfaction with the terrible unsanitary conditions at the border of Latvia and the lack of stores providing basic food supplies. Deficit? If, for instance, there is a collector on the Belarusian side, individuals call. They call from the side of the road initially to the collector, and then they call from the collector to the border. I think it's very convenient. The person is resting. On the other hand, unfortunately, everything is the complete opposite. Extremely inconvenient because individuals who find it more convenient to go through a different border crossing have to utilize open border crossings. And it turns out that numerous cars are simply accumulating two weeks of lifespan. Flows nowhere. During the time when the checkpoints were in operation, this direction was not regarded as the most active. Let's say a few took this route through our checkpoint. Once again, in this particular situation, they utilize activity as the corridors are blocked. Our standpoint is that we provide the fastest and most comfortable processing of a passageway through the state border with valid documents for its crossing. Experienced drivers say that the concern is also caused by the fact that since the beginning of spring, Latvia has been building such barricades made of concrete slabs. Similar structures have previously appeared prior to the closure of border crossings from the European side. Currently, Riga justifies the concreting of the border with Belarus based on the necessity to enhance its strength. However, this raises numerous questions for ordinary European Union citizens. And evidently, concrete walls are the subsequent phase following the construction of a multi-kilometer fence composed of mesh. Then there were barriers, but it was not the Belarusians who began to resist them, but European citizens and their businesses. This was the response of Latvia, Lithuania and Poland to Belarusian hospitality in the form of visa-free entry. And also the outrageous cruelty towards refugees who are thrown onto the Belarusian side through animal gates, beaten to death by European security forces. As a rule, they beat refugees, break or take away mobile phones, sometimes remove outer clothing, and then forcibly expel them to the territory of the Republic of Belarus. Moreover, often a harsh, rough physical force is used, as well as an electric shocker. Belarusian border guards, similar to all structures of the country's power bloc, operate in challenging conditions of the geopolitical situation that is evolving near our borders. Responsibility, yes, it is felt in reality. And this responsibility somehow develops a sense of confidence in oneself that you are truly the main person at the border and the fate of your country depends on you as well. The borderland is an area of special responsibility. That is precisely why inhabitants of the area treat the arrival of any unfamiliar person with special caution and heightened vigilance. For over 30 years, several voluntary squads have been operating in the area of responsibility of the Polotsk border detachment. Their primary duty is to assist in the protection of the borders of the country. Aggressive rhetoric of the Western countries, clashing of weapons, the desire to provoke, all of this in the context of modern reality. That is the reason why the priority endeavors in border protection are concentrated on identifying and preventing challenges and threats that pose risks to the national interests of the Republic of Belarus. With regard to the maneuvering group, it functions as the main unit of the border detachment. The primary task of this unit is to advance rapidly in the given situation and respond effectively to any challenges that may arise. And the tasks they'll do will be totally different. This could involve liquidating divisional recon groups, localizing contextual situations in search points. 
The Polotsk border detachment guards a section of the border with Latvia and Lithuania, which is more than 270 kilometers long. In the year 2023, he attained the position of the top territorial body within the border service of Belarus. Each of them is responsible for the sovereignty and territorial integrity of our state, and in such a difficult time, does not even have the right to the slightest mistake. In the main broadcast, Marina Romanovskaya and Stanislav Dudin.